Welcome to the channel, guys. The channel is Prisca Space. But remember, I am very ready to share the space with you. So on this one, I'm going to show you how to make pure coconut oil, unadulterated coconut oil. So there are two types of coconut oil, the hot pressed coconut oil and the cold pressed coconut oil. And both of them are not exactly the same thing. Most times people use coconut oil and they complain that it darkens their skin. That is because of the type of coconut oil you've used. Now let me differentiate. The hot pressed coconut oil is the one you extract by cooking on the on your gas on your stove by cooking on the heat. And that is the one I'll be showing you on this video. And the cold pressed coconut oil is the one you prepare without applying any form of heat. So I will show how to prepare that one in a later video. But for now, this is the one I am showing you, hot pressed coconut oil. So, so if you want to use for your skin, it's better you use the cold pressed. And if you want to use for your hair, it's better you use the hot pressed. Okay, look here on the screen. There's something I did. I don't like wasting my gas. And if you want to um, prepare hot pressed coconut oil, you need to do it on heat. But after sieving the coconut juice, I allowed it to sit for about four to five minutes inside this white cellophane bag. And you will see the whole thing will separate. You see the little chaff that passed when I was sieving down. You see the water in the middle. And then you will see the main coconut milk, that, which is what we want on top. So you carefully bust out the water part and let the water drain off just like I did. And if you noticed, I was trying to show the, the bag to the camera and I upset the whole suspension a little and it changed the color but that did not really affect anything. So but if you have enough gas if you can if you just want to cook it directly immediately after extracting the juice immediately after the after seeding you can go ahead and put it in your pot or your pan and continue cooking but for me i always allow it to stand for about four to five hours then they will separate and collect just the milk it makes the process easier for me and it saves my gas So at this point, I poured the coconut milk inside my pan and I started cooking. Okay, let me tell you something. You see this coconut there? After blending this coconut, I came back. I said, ah, body no be firewood. I took some out of the blended coconut and I made small coconut rice for myself. I be a no try. Okay, back to the business. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell so that when I post a video like this, you will be notified. You see what is going on? Just because there is no more, not too much of uh, water in this milk, that is why cooking it will be made so easy and fast. As I'm cooking it, immediately I put it, I was already seeing the oil. The oil was already coming up. That is because the water in it was not much. So, you can try this. I show you that method is, is very nice. All you need is just a white cellophane bag. So, you can see the oil is already coming up. At this point, you can see that unadulterated coconut oil popping out. Yes, and that is what we want. The oil is so pure. Nothing added. Not like some people. I don't know why some people like to cheat though. Some people will tell you this is coconut oil. Meanwhile, they will bring granite oil, you pour in a little coconut oil and shake up and give to you and tell you that this is that's not nice. But you can prepare your own. It's not too much. It's not a big deal. So here yeah, I'm removing the first set of oil that came up. I'm removing the first set of oil that came up, yes.
So, after removing the oil, I return back the pot on the fire. I want you to notice something. The way I was using my spoon to press on the milk. Most times, I just press it down, press it down. There's still enough oil in this milk. But I see people, sometimes they prepare coconut oil. And once they do this, they feel the oil is finished and that it's over. No, it's not. It's just getting started. You keep extracting oil to the very last. Just watch this video to the end and you will see how this coconut milk turned into a flake. Like it turned into something like gary, like very dry something. That is how much you should do this to extract all the oil in this milk. Please guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel comment like this video share this video if possible and please turn on your notification bell so that you get notified whenever i post a video like this yes i'm still cooking oh. i'm still cooking my milk and extracting my pure unadulterated oil So if you notice the the milk is drying up the more is ah see what just happened never took light though oh niger it's okay it's okay no problem my power bank uh, my ring lights battery came through so i used it for some time even though i didn't really charge it well see what's going on guys see the milk see what it has done to so notice the change in the quantity of the oil from the beginning yes even at this point i'm still extracting oil you extract your oil to the very last nothing should be lost at all nothing at all so tell me what you think about this and don't forget to subscribe to my channel love you keep watching keep watching to see the very end